Okay, it's recording. It's just sun again. You know, I'm a person, I'm a type of uh, human that is evolving constantly in many directions, and many, I would call it, uh, dimensions, they call it. Uh, I guess they mean that in every area, in every area, in every line of progression, when you do something or say something in, 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 with a certain person uh, or in a certain place, within a certain discipline, each of them, is considered to be a dimension because it is this needed dimension to behave in, to be in. So slowly there is a, a vicinity that is arranged around it and to fit it. Even if you do very little like I do, and then the very little, very small dimension in which I'm living my actual life and the reason I'm not active in this actual life in a sense that people would I'm not active on the third neither neither in what I consider fourth dimension I'm not active I'm not creating uh, new objects that is third dimension, I'm not creating any scenario, which is the fourth dimension. Instead, what I've done all these years, and maybe time for me to, I realize it's time to, to maybe summarize it, and give a video for it, is that about exactly 40 years ago, in 88, I had my first big realization of being infinite and unlimited. Realization was so profound, or the experience rather, is that it served base to my life since then. I was trying to to read, to get rid of things that still got stuck to me when I couldn't get rid of everything. Of course, I had at least two responsibilities. Uh, one was for my close relatives, especially my son, that I was committed to help to help if I could, which I did. And then to the world of art, my commitment to the world of art, uh, very much dependent. Uh, in the internet time, uh, on whatever you would understand, for my career based on the internet, which I did to some extent. However, the market has declined uh, since 40 years. It has been declining since the Second World War. So eventually I arrived to, after I completed the part of renegotiation, the, what they call now, contract with my son, I had to rene renegotiate the contract because I was not uh, familiar with much of the sit situation and the life he's having. And why is 
behaving like this or like that. And I've been traveling around the world, you can say, for many years. So I was keeping my connection with him through the internet. Mostly I would come every several several years to visit. But now that I've returned, now I'm five years in Israel. Israel is where my strongman used to to be uh, building, and they, you know, I have an official name here. Anyway. I wanted to go back to the realization and the realization of the infinite reality, the infinite life. I wanted to come to that. The thing with it, and why was it, was this presentation of this, on my side, was delayed and delayed um, much of it because it, would, it couldn't be explained, it couldn't be put forward to people. It will look like I'm talking nonsense or that I'm talking about something that is beyond people understanding which is true but it also is beyond my understanding and this is just the problem you usually you always treat an experience with a protection and the infinite the unlimitedness when they, the people say the, the, the abundance they say the immensity space they say the immensity they, they, they use words like this but these are projections they don't capture the reality of it so this was a problem however i was attempting apparently i have been attempting to embody to realize and materialize this fact of being actually infinite immortal and and so on so i i, I was i was i was trying to to uh, i was attempting and i was succeeding to materialize it to where today I'm hearing message uh, about this exact uh, procedure where the messenger uh, is uh, um, confirming uh, this reality again and again and again in ways that I can identify myself in this uh, completely. Meaning that the that I can now create some sort of projection to demonstrate or to explain it or to make somebody understand, and it is very much depending and related to more people arriving there and capable of understanding it. Eventually yesterday, and I'm saying I started from myself being very evolutionary. I'm, I'm, I'm evolving in so many dimensions. You can say simultaneously uh, and I'm active and proactive in several of them um, to where you would 
suggest that I am continuing some sort of uh, uh, 3D, four dimension uh, continuum that I'm pulling out with issues that honestly the only way that I'm continuing with them is because I don't have anything else to, to start. All the time I was dealing with refining my projection because well the things went the way they went and I had so much free time so I dedicated my life to free time actually so dedicating my life to free time I stopped uh, almost I don't paint now for not as a characteristic uh, painter anymore I don't paint now as a characteristic painter for the same length of time for 40 years that I since I showed in Paris and uh, gained recognition I've stopped painting I couldn't paint for uh, uh, commercial use commercially and uh, spiritual uh, expansion could not be enlarge only by bits by bits during through all those things many many dimensions that I was dealing with but it was not I mean the, the world the vicinity around uh, around the timeline the timeline for career as artist was not created he was not yet created or maybe it was not meant to be created in the next stage so I was pondering this if I'm having any continuum continuation with the art scene. And yes, there are some continuation in relationship to extraterrestrial uh, uh, fields, fields, I can say, fields of uh, experience when they're talking about free expression, when they're talking about art. Um, when they're talking about uh, so this I was give, I was getting enough examples from extraterrestrials and I saw phenomena extraterrestrial phenomena that are purely art and this art was not only very interesting provocative and in fact overwhelming and for so overwhelming that when I start to paint those things and I start to paint them and I did a small series in 2011 from uh, Joshua Tree from uh, Mojave Desert of UFOs and by that time I was also learning my first lessons about several uh, non-human entities uh, interdimensional but I also was interested in higher cultures that produce very intriguing a lot fuller a lot more perfect in complete impression partly it's a visual but then more aspects more expression of the of those types you know came uh, in to front so I started to consider a, the behavior and the how the messages the intent of extraterrestrials uh, is conveyed to people uh, and what do they mean for example when you see a, a bright light uh, hovering or jumping around what would you see if you saw many many stars of, of white light jumping around what would you see if you saw different colors what would you see if we, if we saw more advanced um, visualization and, and, and 
like looking exactly you know materialized uh, bodies that you can you can see which is artwork and then about the noises the booms the the which are also effects of what you can call any alien behavior when you yeah i want to say just one thing about the booms the booms if you take the most common one is where uh, you cross a certain speed uh, in, in in the air when you fly with an airplane or the rotor of the helicopter. Uh, the edges they, they fly, they move faster than the speed of sound, what it's called. So then they'll create, when they cross the, the barrier of the line of the speed, they will create a, a feedback that you hear at boom. So I'm suggesting that every crossing, uh, the limitation barrier or certain known field, you will get a boom. So there could be more natural native reason for interaction between various conscious phenomena, human con phenomena with the earth behavior crossing earth behavior limitation will will create a boom because the air the behavior of the air the limitation of the air the air, the air uh, present for sound it's a native uh, behavior the nature the nature of the of this matter so the same applies i think to other phenomena that moves and cross barriers they will create a boom anyway I was back into this infinite, infinite life uh, realization, and the most grounded uh, version of it is when you uh, can uh, project continuum in many different directions. That took this uh, modality, uh, dimension, or circumstances, or relationship. When you create a continuum that is based completely on the ground, it's not especially made of any plan exactly, but it is using the ground, the spiritual ground, uh, and the physical ground at the same time to support a projection, to support a projection that is based in emotional evolution, em emotional openness, uh, evolution of emotion, evolution of honest evolution. Uh, a, a relationship that was in the previous versions of life, it was attempted. There were signs of it, there were hints of it, there was beginning of it. But now it is this basis, emotional basis itself, needs to come to to front. That's what I'm feeling about the entire field of uh, experience. That this is the leader. This is the lead. Lead. This is the arrow that leads the, the emotional, giving emotional basis, uh, and, and that cannot be done uh, without also considering and, in fact, projecting uh, eventually an infinite type of life. And so, it is. Because it is between the minute, the minute, the minute where, where projection is created, where an impression is created in the minute, in the now. And then this now opens up and it lingers limitlessly in all direction, in all the models and all the actions that you would like to, to be involved with and to create. We have just general direction, maybe there is earth base that is grounded, that is solid, that is growing many directions. But in the same time, while you're doing it, you realize that you have become, you have manifested, you have embodied you, the, the life of an infinite being and the certainty that it is so. 
So eat this change. Eat the changes. In the sense of self. Meaning it changes also every instance when you were experience anything and relating it to a projection of deterioration and of getting downhill and dying. So this every instance, every moment where a grown up start to use words and then words captured the consciousness and words became truth and fear is fear-based words that people produce that I was producing that I had produced people would produce for every instant they would say that this for example thing that you do is limited in the sense that time measures you know you do it within a time frame that in the end of it you are deteriorating that you do this thing in a limited reality where you do something under the impression of death and everything that you would do will be compressed under this pressure of this built up pressure of repeating that the I'm going to die thing you know even which it, which is studied started when you were young and, and 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 now every moment every instant is filled with it so every moment is, is a, it, it became an attempt to escape from that feeling which is you are conscious of it or not but people are considering death for the first time they heard it it's overwhelming they cannot just throw it away and say I want to get it meditate about it you know move it uh, you know invent all those all those things this uh, a thought a repeat of a thought so now this moment is challenged you are challenged to you know inhabit your moment with projections that are attempts or they are actions within the full acceptance and recognition that you are infinite limitedless mortal immortal immortal being that what you are now you are trying to materialize it, realize it to, to this moment, because this moment is what you want to materialize it with. And you start to see that you are treating yourself and the entire reality differently. But especially yourself, you start to treat yourself of somewhat more worthy than before. You start to, to treat your body from a different angle. Instead of thinking of every pain that you have and every problem that you have is catastrophe, you think of them as a kind of experience that you can have nourish off and mature with. And pain does not become a threat. It is uh, uh, something that is easy for you to handle. And I've been told, I was talking about this in the last few videos. Okay, the first talk of the immortal man, your son Pedro, his current name. Yeah, so thank you for watching me. That was fun to do. Adios.